Hi everyone, so welcome back to our 12th C Sharp tutorial. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. Now, in this video, we're basically going to do the same thing, So, but I want to use an integer and I want to show you something a little bit different and just clear up something that you might have thought is true, but I've never actually said it is, so you might not be 100% sure. So, firstly, I want you to write get an int a equals 3 and a double b equals 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and we're going to copy it and we're going to get a divided by b. Now I'm going to run this out and we're going to get an interesting answer. Well some of you might find it interesting. Now we've got 3.33 basically that's just reoccurring. That's 3 infinite, not 3.33 infinite, and then we've got 3 and then we've got 1. Now if we look back down here we can see that essentially we've got the same things happening. We've got 10 divided by 3, we've got 10 divided by 3, and we'll ignore this one because it's modulus, but why is it that this console right line we end up with 3.33 reoccurring. Now, the simplest answer would be to look up the top and see what um, type it is. If it's an integer or if it's a double. Now, because it's a double, we know that it can have a decimal place, and but we haven't actually told it that it's got a decimal place so it, what it looks like is that it's just ignoring the fact that there's no decimal place but what happens is C sharp is saying that we've we've called this a double so we're actually sorry we're telling C sharp because we've called this a double that don't don't worry about what oh, if there's a decimal place or not just imagine that if there is a decimal place there's a zero 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 all the way to infinity unless we put some unless we put in our own decimal place and then after say this point just again replace everything else with zeros until the end of time so all that we've done by calling it a double is we're saying that this is 10.0 but you don't have to show us that you just have to know it that's what we're telling the computer and when we debug with just B, we just get 10. Now in other languages when we have a double, it'll be 10.0, but C Sharp doesn't worry about that. It's omitting the zero because we haven't told it that there's a zero there, but it knows there's a zero there. We know there's nothing on the other side of this decimal place, but we know that there is a decimal place there. So anyway, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.